Hey guys, welcome to another video. I think a lot of people know that pomegranates are healthy, but it hasn't been until the last few years where there's been a lot of research showing just how healthy they are. Now, the pomegranate has made some other recent history, including being at the center of a heated courtroom battle. Five years ago, a United States federal court and the Federal Trade Commission came down hard on the company POM Wonderful for false advertising about the benefits of the pomegranate. They ruled that the company used misleading health claims about their pomegranate juice and supplements in some of their advertisements. The U.S. Supreme Court had even declined to hear the case. The irony is that pomegranates don't need any hype. The pomegranate is a fleshy berry and a great source of fiber, vitamin C, vitamin K, iron, and potassium. They're also rich in antioxidants and anti-inflammatory properties. Many studies in humans indicate that pomegranates are an excellent defense against several diseases. They also contain a precursor to a powerful anti-aging molecule called urolithin A. The most significant source of its antioxidative properties is a chemical called punicalagin, a member of the family of elegotannins found in the edible portion of the fruit. When we eat a pomegranate, our gut bacteria convert elegotannins into urolithin A. To understand why urolithin A slows down the aging process, we need to look at how our muscles age. 90% of our energy stems from microscopic structures in our cells called mitochondria. The cells in your body contain billions of tiny, probably trillions of tiny little mitochondria. You can think of them like mini batteries. In order for your body to work well, our bodies need to repair and sometimes replace defective, damaged, and old mitochondria. So when mitochondria are damaged or defective, they self-destruct through a process called mitophagy. And once this happens, your cells make brand new mitochondria. During this process, dysfunctional and toxic elements in our cells are then recycled or eliminated. When we're younger, the mitophagy process happens more often, but when the process of mitophagy slows down with age, toxins may not be recycled or removed fast enough. So this makes our body cells age faster, including muscle. Studies on humans and animals reveal that in the elderly, walking slower and poor muscle strength is associated with poor mitochondrial function. Improving mitophagy in older people has been shown to slow muscle strength decline from aging. Maintaining a regular exercise regimen triggers the production of new mitochondria and boosts energy in our skeletal muscle cells when we age. A study showed that urolithin A promoted mitophagy, produced more mitochondria, and helped improve mitochondrial function in elderly individuals. These effects of urolithin A mimicked how a regular exercise regimen benefits our muscles and helps us retain energy even when we're older. Additionally, several rat and animal studies showed that urolithin A increased endurance levels in young and old rats by improving muscle health. So does that mean that urolithin A and exercise combined have an even greater effect? Probably, but this is still an unknown. The effect of urolithin A on humans is underway, but the early results do look promising. And while we're on the topic of more energy, I'm excited to announce that I created a new online course on how to maximize your energy levels. And I'll put a link in the description below for you to learn more about that. Our gut is a collection of digestive organs that includes the stomach, small intestine, large intestine, AKA the colon. So there's a hundred trillion bacteria in our digestive systems. Having a diverse range of the good bacteria in our gut is extremely healthy, and they're collectively known as the gut microbiome or the gut flora. So our gut microbiome, it regulates our immunity, it prevents inflammation, fights against diseases, produces important vitamins like vitamin K, and helps our body absorb nutrients from our food and creates and regulates essential hormones. Not only that, but good gut health also affects our sleep, memory, moods, and mental health. When digested, pomegranates act as a prebiotic. After digesting a pomegranate, some of the breakdown products include gallic acid, elegic acid, and glucose. Bacteria in the colon then convert that into something called urolithin A. So these natural substances keep our gut microbiome healthy, similar to a prebiotic. Prebiotics are fiber-rich plant foods that promote the growth of the good bacteria in our gut. Urolithin A promotes the growth of good bacteria like bifidobacteria and lactobacilli, while suppressing harmful bacteria like clostridia. However, there is a catch. Much of our gut microbiome composition is determined at birth and many lifestyle factors like smoking, alcohol, a bad diet, too much exposure to antibiotics, these can all hurt our good gut bacteria. 
Suppose someone doesn't have the right gut bacteria to make urolithin A from elegotanins. In that case, they can't access the anti-aging, anti-inflammatory, and antioxidant properties of urolithin A. More urolithin A-related studies are underway to determine the benefits of ingesting urolithin A directly so even people who can't produce urolithin A naturally can reap its benefits. Also, urolithin A produced by fecal bacteria is used to increase short-chain fatty acid production in our body. Short-chain fatty acids, they provide energy to the cells lining our gut and are significant to gut health. They also help our body digest carbohydrates and fat. Short-chain fatty acids help lower inflammation in our gut and keep our gut microbiome functioning well. Certain cells in our colon, called colon fibroblasts, play a vital role in regulating our immune response. Since they line our colon, they're often exposed to byproducts of the food that we digest. If these cells become agitated by something we eat, we may have to deal with chronic inflammation through our bodies. During this inflammation, the immune-regulating signals of the colon fibroblast cells may be altered and can lead to IBS, or irritable bowel syndrome, and it can even lead to colorectal cancer. Colorectal cancer is the second leading cause of cancer-related deaths. Urolithin is a family of molecules that includes urolithin A and B. When we eat a pomegranate, elegotanins in that fruit are then converted to urolithin A and B inside of our colon. In lab tests, when inflammation-producing cells were exposed to urolithin A and B and elegic acid, at similar concentrations found in the colon, it resulted in an anti-inflammatory response. Further studies showed that urolithin A was the main active compound that produced this effect. These studies demonstrate the potential anti-inflammatory and anti-carcinogenic effects of urolithin. Also, the prebiotic effect of urolithin stimulates the production of short-chain fatty acids, which maintain colon health and help prevent colon cancer. Pomegranate has been shown to have a positive effect on cardiovascular health as well. So pomegranate juice can reduce triglyceride levels, improve high-density cholesterol, and lower blood pressure in hemodialysis patients based on a study. Also, pomegranate helps reduce the cardiovascular risk in diabetic and obese individuals. While lab results are promising, more conclusive human studies are needed. As a rule of thumb, eating fruit raw is much better for you than drinking their juice. With pomegranate juice, you get a more concentrated version of multiple pomegranates in one bottle. However, pomegranates are high in sugar. Juice, in general, eliminates the dietary fiber found in fruit, and without their essential fiber, your blood sugar levels can spike. Here is the USDA nutritional information for raw pomegranate and that for bottled pomegranate juice. So what's the final takeaway from this video? Pomegranates are super healthy. They're high in fiber, vitamins, and other nutrients. They can act as prebiotics, and their anti-inflammatory properties can help keep our gut healthy. Preliminary studies in the elderly also showed that the byproducts of digesting pomegranates can help improve endurance and muscle strength and rejuvenate mitochondria for more energy and slow the aging process. While more studies in humans are required before pomegranate juice or extracts can be certified as protective against cancer and cardiovascular disease, preliminary research is promising. Certain bacteria in our gut can digest pomegranates to make urolithin A, the molecule linked to several health benefits. However, individuals who don't have this gut bacteria may not produce urolithin. In this case, directly ingesting urolithin A may be helpful. So that's going to be all for this video. I appreciate you watching. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and give it a like if you liked it, and click on that subscribe and bell notification if you haven't done so already. That way you don't miss out on when my next one comes out.